So, Sheldon, tell me a little bit about why you decided to do America's Got Talent. I, I really just wanted to get what I do onto a global scale, really. Like, I did um, some things in Australia, and I did quite well here, but I just, I knew that there was an audience out there that was just a little bit weirder, a little bit cooler, so <laughs> I think I want to take it out of Australia, and we're so far away, so, you know, America's Got Talent, the biggest talent show in the world, I, I thought that could be a really cool opportunity for me. Very nice. And you have such a unique act. Can you tell me a little bit about how it got started? I have always loved fashion. I've always loved music. But for me, they were both two things that I didn't really love to share with the world. So I thought if I was going to do it, I would probably join them together and make it the biggest thing ever. So uh, I don't know. It's been a really long process. It's been a really long journey for, um, for me because I, you know, I came out as gay, but then I also came out as this. And this is... <laughs> You know, this is crazy to a lot of people. So I, I don't know. I think it's just taken me a long time for my craft and my music to kind of join and, and become this. But I don't know. I'm really proud of every step I've taken. I'm proud of you too. I genuinely am. But not just because of your music, but because your story on Tuesday night touched so many lives. I mean, everyone in some way or another can relate to feeling alone and being bullied and whatnot. Did you yeah. think that was going to happen in addition to people loving your music that you were going to touch them in this way as well? Look, I was hoping so. For me, if I can, if I can reach anybody and, and give them a, a better experience or any kind of, any kind of advice on what, what to do when you are alone and when you are feeling super disconnected from the rest of the world, then that's kind of my mission made. I just want to, you know, I, at the end of the day, my art and my music is really to, to inspire other people to just be unapologetically themselves. And it's, it's hard to do that at the moment. It's hard to be yourself where it's so scary to step up and be you. But, you know, we only have one life. Might as well live it. Yeah, well, you're a huge inspiration. And I, like I said, I'm at my mom's house and we watched it together. We absolutely fell in love with you. You're just an amazing, amazing person. Oh, thank you so much. I really appreciate yeah. that. And you're very young, and how old were you when you started in all this? I was about 12 or, or 13 years old, but like I said, it's been a really big, it's been a really big journey. I've been through a few different TV shows, I've done a heap of different events, but I just, I, for me, what I do now, like where I'm sitting right now is the most content I've ever been. It's the most proud of myself that I've ever been, because for a long time I used to tell people to love themselves, but I barely loved myself at all, but finally I've... I've come to a point now where I really have taken on advice from a lot of my idols and learned that if you really can't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. So, yeah, that's kind of what I live by now. To quote Cindy Lauper, you're letting your true colors shine and they're beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. That's it. Yes. That's it. Hey, tell me a little bit about the audition process for America's Got Talent. You had a unique situation where you did yours. Yeah, well, I, I flew into LA and I didn't receive the phone. I didn't know about the whole COVID situation hitting America until I got there, like in terms of the show. So when I landed in America, I had a phone call saying, hey, Sheldon, there'll be no audience. Heidi Klum won't be there. Heart was crushed. <laughs> and um, it's just not going to be your average audition. And I said, well, am I still going to be able to sing? And they were like, yep. So I was like, all right, let's do it. So I stepped on and... I had this weird little moment before I stepped on stage where I thought, I'm going to create a moment. I'm going to do something that is really different and cool. Like I've flown all the way from Australia to come here and sing Billie Eilish wearing the outfit that I've made myself. I need to be just as big as the moment that I've created. And I thought, what do I do best? And that's showing my talent without having to explain myself first. I've never had to explain myself when it comes to what I do. I, I have always proven my worth by my talent and my creativity. So I thought this is the perfect opportunity to get up there, don't say a word and just, just sing and just, you know, just let them see what you do. It was beautiful. And your actual performance on Tuesday was done in Australia. Was that a little bit challenge for you, challenging for you doing it in, on video rather than doing it in person? It was really hard. I'm not going to lie to you. It was, a, it was really hard. It would have been, I can genuinely say it would have been maybe five times easier had I been in America. Keep in mind that I'm working on American time and we're about 17 hours ahead. So when, you know, we're performing live, I'm performing at 
midnight almost. Like it's 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 really quite tough. And then on top of that as well, I don't have that face to face interaction with the judges as well while I'm performing. And I think like anyone, you know, whether you're in this industry or not, like every industry, when you do an interview, it's always easier when you've got the person in front of you, you can kind of feel the room. So when I say I literally had to be in my own bubble and create my own space, I literally did. So yeah. And you kind of got to meet Heidi Klum, even though it was on video. Tell me about that moment because I know how much you love her. I, I remember sitting in front of it because I was on a Zoom call to meet the judges and my heart was like, like, like <laughs> pulsing. It was crazy. And then she gave me the most beautiful feedback along with the other judges as well. They gave me the best, um, the best judging. I think I, I couldn't really expect anything better than what they, what they gave to me, which was so beautiful. But when she started speaking, I kind of just zoned out for a second. And then when Terry asked me the question, what's your goal? The first thing I had to say was, Heidi, it's such a, such an honor to meet you because like when I say to people that I genuinely watched Project Runway and so many fashion shows when I was a kid and I watched her inspire so many people. I remember one episode there was a on, on Project Runway there was there was a gay guy that came out with his with his um HIV story and there was gay guys that came out with their bullying stories and there were that for me that was so empowering because it was fashion it was everything i wanted to do and i was so inspired by these people and then also america's got talent i've been watching singers that are in my sort of position being inspired by them as well so it was kind of a full circle moment from the little kid that used to watch project runway in secret at his grandma's house to standing in front of her saying hi like thank you so much for judging what i do so yeah kind of crazy it's beautiful. It's beautiful. And I'm sure she was inspired by you in some way as well. I mean, I saw the look on her face and she was captivated by you. Oh, thank you. It was, thank it was beautiful. And you also do fashion. Tell me a little bit about what kind of things you design other than your masks, which are gorgeous, by the way. Yeah, so I, I pretty much design and make every outfit that I wear, everything from scratch, like not even custom usually. They're normally from patterns and sewn together, which is really cool. So I don't know, especially in Australia, we don't have many fashion stores that would even come close to selling what I make. So I just have to make it myself. But the crystal masks actually are done by an artist named House of Emmanuel, and he's done some incredible work. He's just done work with Beyonce. This mask he, he lent to me, it was done by another artist as well though, but this was this was actually worn by Billie Eilish, to be, to be honest with you. This is actually her mask, and he's done he's done work for Nicki Minaj and and like every Lady Gaga, Ariana Grande. It's it's such an incredible contact for me to have, and such a beautiful friend in my life, and I'm so grateful to wear his pieces. But um, I, I'm so fascinated by sparkle. <laughs> I just think it's so beautiful. You're preaching to the choir right here. I have sparkle <laughs> everywhere, so. I knew there was a reason we're going to be really good friends. Aww. So what's next for you? I mean, I, I'm so sad and crushed that you're no longer on America's Got Talent, but fingers crossed for the um, wild card or, um, shows. But what's next for you? I didn't even know that there was a wild card. And then when there was kind of a big uproar when I was kicked off, which I wasn't expecting, the talent of my episode was beyond incredible. And I was such it was such an honor to be on what I believe was the most talented um quarterfinals episode there was that was such tough competition in that episode um but yeah there was a lot of people that were upset about me leaving which I guess is kind of cool so I would love to get the wild card what an honor if I did but um for me what's happening next I I've been working on original music and I know a lot of people have said that coming off shows like this oh I'm bringing music out soon but I have been working in the day times when America's asleep so tirelessly on my album and then in the night times working so hard on fashion and America's Got Talent and I have not slept. So I'm so excited to show the world what I what I have to offer and what I'm creating. It will be my first album as well and my first single that I'll release. So it's it's pretty exciting. <laughs> very nice, very nice. And I'll tell you what, if you want a place to display everything, you have you can do it on T V Grapevine. I will give you a, your own platform right here. Thank you so much. And that is a promise. Thank you so and much. Of course. And who are some artists that inspire you? I know we were talking about Cher and Cindy Lauper before we went on air. Um, musical artists. I, I love Adam Lambert, Lady Gaga, Queen, Elton John, 
um, I'm, I'm so inspired by so many people all around the world, you know, gay, straight, I don't, I don't care, that's not even a thing to me anymore. Artists who are themselves and whoever they are, that's what inspires me, but fashion-wise as well, like Alexander McQueen is incredible. I think there are so many artists out there that are inspiring musicians right now, and I think they need to be spoken about. Absolutely. And I'm a, I was raised on Queen. My mom saw Queen uh, in the 70s on um, Madison Square Garden. You got to tell me, what's your favorite Queen song? Uh, the show must go on. I just watched them the other day and it's, it's, it's incredible. I actually know Adam. We, we, did, <laughs> we did a little bit of that. Not, not best friends by any means, but he knows who I am and that is the biggest thing in the world to me. It's, it's crazy to know that what I'm doing is being seen by so many people around the world. And one thing I like to ask the people I interview is, what is a fun fact about you that might surprise people? A fun fact that might surprise people? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't think there's much about I've I've done so many little interviews. I don't, I don't really know what people think, actually. This is, this, is, this is one thing, actually. How tall do you think I am? <laughs> You're talking to short people think i'm actually six one i'm really tall and when people meet me in real life they go oh my gosh you are so tall i think they just think because i you know i'm a, a, a boy and i dress quite pretty i must be short because i'm fitting into these female clothes but what people don't know is that i'm not wearing female clothes i'm wearing male clothes well i don't know there's no gender but i'm wearing female clothes that are made for a male body so <laughs> I, it, it's pretty crazy. I think that would be my fun fact. I'm really dang tall. <laughs> Honey, you're talking to someone that's 4'10", so everybody's tall to me. <laughs> well, if we ever meet, I'll say hello from up here. <laughs> yeah, hello down there. <laughs> and since we're a TV site, what are you watching on TV these days? Oh my gosh, what am I watching? RuPaul's Drag Race Canada. That's all in the show at the moment. Um, I saw Jimbo got knocked off, which has broken my heart, but he was incredible. Um, and probably Shit's Creek. I don't know if you've seen that show before, but I yes, it's good. <laughs> I feel like I can relate to so many of those characters. Oh yeah, I definitely know what you're talking about. There's so many good people on that show. Yeah. <laughs> and before I let you go, tell me what what would you like to say to your fans? Anything else you want to tell them? Yeah, definitely. I would let everybody know that when you really live the life that you were born to live and you know deep down what that is for you and when you find that it is the most magical experience of your life i've just been voted off the biggest tv show in the world and all i have is so much love and gratitude for the show and who i am and, the, and what i did on that show so when you are exactly who you are you have no other feeling but to be proud of yourself so i encourage everybody to live life that way and we love you too and one more thing where can we find you on social media yeah, Sheldon Riley on pretty much everything. Otherwise, um, you'll find me. I don't, I don't feel like you can really miss it. <laughs> I just added you on Instagram, so. I'll follow you. I'll follow you now. What's your All what's right. <laughs> it's, official, it's official underscore TV grapevine, so easy to yeah. find. I'll follow you straight away. <laughs> Thank you. Well, good luck with everything, and congratulations on all your success, and I can't wait to speak to you again in the future. Thank you so much. I really appreciate Thank it. Thank you. Bye.